Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Yolande and I am a zero-based cash budgeter. In today's video, I am going to be cash budgeting my second paycheck for the month of February. And I'll link my budget my budget with me breakdown for um, this paycheck in the cards above. And first off, I just want to say Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone who's been supporting me. Thank you, everyone who's purchased from my Etsy shop, who subscribed to this channel, and who's always commented on my videos or who's commented on my videos. And as a thank you, I mentioned before that I wanted to do a giveaway for you guys, which was three gift cards to Etsy for $25. And I did choose the three winners. And I was going to show it on camera with um, the lottery but I already ran it, so I didn't want to run it again. Um, and I didn't record it the first time because it was my first time using the program. And I'll show you guys the next time I do a giveaway. So the three winners are Without Limits Budgets, Budget by the Bag, and Terry Ann Anderson. So those are the three winners. And I just chose a winner from the three videos in which I mentioned the giveaway, where, which you were eligible to enter the giveaway, and I just chose one per, for one from each video. And I congratulations to the winners. Thank you all who have who has entered the giveaway. Thank you all who has commented. I love you guys. I love this community, and I'm truly grateful for it. And I hope you guys know I, I get comments saying that you guys like my methods in regards to how I budget, but you guys have really made a difference to me and I appreciate you for that. So I just wanted to say that to you guys, get that out of the way and tell you guys that I do, I really do, I really do appreciate you guys. Um, so let's just get into this video. Um, today... I believe we're stuffing $877, $877. That's what should be here. So I'm just going to do a quick count of that. And I'm just going to slightly slide this over. Um, and, then, and then we can get to the stuffing. So we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, let me see, too much in my hand, sorry. 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 70, 70, 80, 90, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 6 Sorry, I put lotion on my hands and it's not really cooperating with the money. That always happens, but my last video my hands were dry. So we had 6 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 97 10 20 30 40 50 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 800. And so this should be $77 here. Um, oh, what am I doing? Here we go. Fives. So we have... Get that single. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45... 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. Okay, I have 76. It's supposed to be 77. I'm pretty sure I miscounted these singles, so I am not going to recount it because it's just a dollar. So the last envelope that I do stuff, I'll just minus a dollar if I don't have it. I just want to quickly... Oh, 
Okay, we are good to go. And first I'm going to, this is my savings challenge binder. I'm gonna go through my cash envelopes, these two binders, and pull out any ones and fives that I have left over. And I take the ones and, I, and the $1 and the $5 and apply that to my savings challenges. So $5 out of Con Edison. Life insurance has a 20. Verizon always has 20. Amazon Monthly has some fives and a couple of singles. Quite a few singles. Let's see. Five. Beauty is empty. Eating out has a five. Entertainment. It has a five, but I'm not going to take out the five because I only stuffed it with five, and I'm going to stuff it with five today, so that'll make a ten. Giving, I'm not emptying. And then my second cash envelope binder. Groceries, let's see. Um, I have a bunch of singles and one five. Hubby, let's see, I think he has a five, but I'm gonna put a five today in it, so I'm not gonna take that out because I only stuffed it with five, a five year last video. Laundry, I'm not, there's no fives in here, it's just tens. Miscellaneous is empty, spending is empty, toiletries. Doesn't have a five. Transportation is empty and Uber only has tens. Okay, so let's see how much we're putting into the $1. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars is going into the $1 challenge, savings challenge. And that's just here. And let's see how many is going into the $5. One, so five, 10, 15, 20, 25. $25 is going into the $5 savings challenge. And I pull the ones in the $5 right before I do my stuffing for my, um, for my paycheck, uh, my, pay, my main paycheck because, and I don't pull it out during, during the, um, every, for every $5 that I get. So I'm just going to put that away because that's my savings challenge binder and it's not getting stuffed today. And we're going to start with my bills binder. Con Edison, which is my electricity, is getting $75. And I'm just going to do, I broke it down into smaller ones because my bill went up. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. And I'm going to give it a couple of singles. One, two, three, four, five. That should be $75. Goes into Con Edison. Life insurance is getting skipped. Um, Verizon is getting $40. And I do that in two 20s because my bill is $80. So it's just easier to keep this in 20s. Um, Amazon Monthly is getting. Hmm. Amazon monthly. I think I gave it a hundred. Yes, I gave it a hundred dollars. And I'm also gonna get that in mixed bills. So we're gonna do 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, and then I'm gonna give it a couple of singles. One, two, three, four. 100. And this is for Amazon monthly subscription items. They've been out of stock with a couple of items, so I, I'm still gonna stuff it. Hopefully they do get into stock because I can't find 
the cat food anywhere else. Beauty is getting $10. And I think I'm going to do that in a $10 bill. Eating, eating out is going to get $10, I believe. Let's see. Eating out is getting $10 as well. And that's just my Panera gift card. Um, and that's just going to be a $10 bill. Entertainment. Let's see, five dollars. So this is only getting this is getting five dollars, which is why I didn't pull the five dollars out because I usually just stuff it with five dollars. Giving is also getting five dollars, and I'm not pulling any money out of giving, any rollover money out of giving, because I'm just gonna make a donation at the end of the month. And usually, when I see somebody on the street, because I walk around with my personal money. I'll just give them what I have for my personal. So that is it for my first cash envelope binder. Now on to my second. And groceries. I'm gonna give groceries seventy-five dollars, and um, I know it's a little less, but I'm trying to challenge myself and use up what we have in the house. And so that's twenty, forty, fifty. 60, 70, and then I'm going to do some singles. One, two, three, four, five. And I've been meal prepping, so that's that's been helpful as well. So. Hubby is getting $5. Yes, for well, Hubby is getting $5. And that's just going to be a five dollar bill. Laundry is getting its usual ten. Miscellaneous is getting five dollars, and I'm gonna try to stuff this more with my extra income because I do want to build it up. Um, I can't remember what I used it what I used it for, but. Um, it's depleted, so I do want to build that back up. I'm getting $20, and my envelope is empty, and I'm going to do um, I'm going to do I'm going to do small bills, so we'll do a 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So $20 to last me the next two weeks. Toiletries is getting $10, and I'm just going to do that in a $10 bill. And transportation is getting $40. Let's see. Transportation is getting $40, and I'm doing that in two 20s. So $20, $40. Uber gets skipped. It only gets my rollover for the for this the two weeks so it's not getting anything now for my short-term sinking funds binder um let's see just moving my paper closer um alcohol is getting skipped and i actually i spent this so i have to pull the money out dollar tree is getting five dollars um yes dollar tree is going to get five dollars And it has 10, so now it has $15. Electronics, I did not realize it was empty, um, is getting $10 because I actually, I, so then I, I went over because I actually bought more ink. So I'll have to fix that. Hobbies is getting skipped. And I think if I remove this envelope, I'm not, I'm not sure yet, so that's why I'm not taking it out. Investments is getting 130, 135. So investments is getting one of the hundred dollar bills. So one, 20, 30, and five. So 135 is getting, is going into investments. 
And thank you all for your suggestions in regards to the Roth IRA. Um, they were they were very helpful. Medical is getting twenty dollars, and we're gonna do that in ten, fifteen, and twenty. And I went to the doctor. I paid the copay, but I'm I think I'm gonna be getting a bill. So. We'll see how that turns out. I haven't gotten anything back, but I did get like a notice from the insurance of what they paid and I don't think they paid everything. So hopefully that's not the case, but just in case, I'm glad I have this envelope. Macari is getting skipped. Passport is getting skipped. Pet fund is getting $30. So we'll do $10 per pet. And it's going to be 20 for the last 20 and $30. And church is getting $10. And that's just a $10 bill. I gotta change this envelope to match the others. Um, yeah. Now on to my long-term sinking funds binder. Binder supplies. I believe I put three dollars in here, and I think it has two dollars. Let's see. Nah, uh, I put three dollars in here because I thought it only had two dollars in it. One, two, three, because I wanted to make it a. Uh, you know, make, get it to $5, but now I have to put $2 in it for my next stuffing. Birthday is getting $15. And that's a 10 and a 5. Let's, I want to actually know how much is in here. 1, 20, 30, 40, 55, 55. Okay. Clothing is getting $10 as well. And that's just going to be a $10 bill. And my emergency fund is getting $10. $10 bill. And gifts is getting $10. And that's glasses is getting also ten dollars. Um, and I'm trying to fully fund this one by June, so I actually need to pick pick up pick it up. So um, pick up the pace with this one, but I'm happy with the ten dollars. Holiday is getting. Um, holiday, holiday, ten dollars. And that's it for my first long term, oops, long term sinking funds binder. And for my last sinking funds binder, home maintenance is getting, or home improvement is getting fifteen dollars. And I gave it 15 this week because I think I spent $10 from it, but I have to double check my tracker because um, I didn't do my unstuffing because I'm filming this on Sunday. So I unstuff on Sunday night, Monday. Kira is getting, Kira, I think she's getting $20. Yes, because I'm also going to use this. And I think I did that in two tens. Yes, I did. 10, 20, I'm gonna have to use this this money to get winter neutered. And he has an examination coming up, which is which will probably be the 100, but I wanna stuff this. So it's actually Kira Winter and Springs Binder, but when I made it, it was just Kira. So Future is getting $15. Well, I was generous with that envelope. Okay, $15. 
um, t five and ten. Um, there's actually another five in there, so I'll just put that there. New car is getting five dollars. Definitely not a priority for me. Not at all. Um, I think I'm probably just gonna stuff it every other every other paycheck because I didn't stuff it for the last one. New tech is getting five dollars. And I know this is a long-term taking funds, but I might end up having to pull the funds out of it because I did purchase ink and I didn't realize that. I should have checked it first, but the ink was on sale. So instead of being $60, it was $40. So I was just like, I'm not gonna miss out on a $20 savings. It's like one of those lightning deals on Amazon. And I don't usually look at the lightning deals, but that it was worth it. So um. I am not ashamed to say that I overspent in that in that um in that envelope because I do need the ink because I work from home and I say 40 bucks so um subscriptions is getting ten dollars so when I, I'll just try to balance everything out when I when I um unstuff my binders and then work with what I what I have what I have left over via sphere is getting no four dollars via sphere is getting four dollars so that's one two three and four and I think I actually gave something to vacation this week um, it's getting ten dollars. And even if we don't get to do our big vacation this year, um, I'm happy with doing a small one. A small mini vacation. Support small is getting $5. And somebody was supposed to get $5 and I skipped it. And let's see, let's see, who could I have possibly miss? Um, I don't know, so I'm just going to put this in miscellaneous because you guys know that that's one of the envelopes that I wanted to build back up. And so I am going to put my extra $5 there, miscellaneous. And I'll probably end up having to pull this money to cover for the overspend of the ink purchase, but it happens, so I'm okay with that, so... The last $100 bill goes into my moving binder and I need to pay more attention to this one. So that's why it's getting $100. I think that I'm going to have to, just like I immediately remove money from investments into savings, I'm gonna have to um, divvy out a portion of that 70%, maybe 10%, 20% of my 70% for expenses to go towards this binder because I definitely need to pay more attention to it. Because um, I think our goal um, is 8000 And the reason why it's 8000 is because if rent is... 2000 hopefully rent is less than 2000 but let's be realistic rent is about $2000 i need that on the day that i sign the lease i need 2000 a minimum 2000 times 3 so $6000 and that's $6000 that i'm not getting back so um yeah because you have to put down first month's security and then there's a realtor fee and i'm trying to avoid the realtor fee and even if you like go online and find one of those and and search a search for a new apartment on a site or something in New York, you still have to pay for that realtor fee. And I think that's completely ridiculous, but I'm still trying. So if you guys have any tips in regards to avoiding that, that will be great. And the realtor fee is the same as your first month's rent. So that's why I need 6,000. And then we're averaged out about 2,000. I'm gonna shoot for three because of I need new furniture and stuff like that, but that's besides the point. So um, I'm trying to do this without charging anything to my credit card and not being able to pay it off. 
and that is about it thank you guys so much for watching congratulations again to all the winners to the three winners and um they are budget 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 by the bag um without limits budgets and terry ann anderson let me just quickly check that uh, yes, Terry Ann Anderson, Without Limits Budget and Budgeting by the Bag have wonderful YouTube channels and Budgeting by the Bag also has a website, so I'll link her, her site and, um, and Without Limits Budget's channel down below. Um, wonderful women, definitely support them and they're very active in the community, so I am happy that I can give something back to them and because they've given so much to me and so i'm grateful for that so thank you guys congratulations on the win i am going to be in contact with you guys and try to get these gift cards to you so thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions please leave them down below if you like cash stuffing and budgeting videos please consider subscribing to this channel um please give this channel this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you guys next time bye guys